Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Ford Raptor R. Now, usually we're talking about horsepower, I'm at the racetrack, but I am from the church of the high lift cam. That means more horsepower for everyone, and this is about horsepower and off-roading and mixing the two together. This is my favorite kind of truck. Now, what is this? This is the 700 horsepower Shelby GT500 engine. Yes, the aluminum engine, the one you know about that supercharged is in this Raptor R. Yeah, there's some changes. We're gonna show you some things that make the Raptor R very special. So let's get started with some exterior features. If you think it's an F-150 review, it isn't. You wanna look at the F-150, separate review, Raptor, separate review, this is Raptor R. We're gonna take it off-road and you're gonna join us. Let's get started with in front. It has the R logo. Everyone know that's looking in the rearview mirror, that's a Raptor R, not just a Raptor. In addition, for you as the driver, you get to see that on the hood vent, it says Raptor R here as well. They wanted to make it special, so when you sat in the car, because the seats also have the embossment as well as the center console lid, you want to be able to see it while you're driving. And also right here, supercharged V8, just to let you know, and it's got eights all across the hood. I love it. This is my kind of vehicle. It's sort of an in-your-face kind of vehicle. Let's go around to the side. I want to show you some special features of this vehicle. It is a Raptor, so it rides on 37-inch tires. These are BF Goodrich tires that are special for this vehicle. 17-inch alloy wheels. This is what they use for off-roading. And if you were going to build a car for yourself and you bought a Raptor, this is kind of what you'd want. That means different shocks as well. They're set completely different spring rates because this is a lighter motor. It's all aluminum. But on top of that, it's got the different box shocks as well and different exhaust system. The transmission has also been changed. It's from a Super Duty. These are some of the features about this car that really make it special. Well, come with me to the back and you'll see we, we were already off-roading. We were having too much fun. What can I say? I love the different colors. The special color besides Code Red, which is a Raptor color is you can get the avalanche gray it's a very light gray almost a military looking vehicle i like the lighter color because you can see that raptor r decal it's in your face again every single side of the car it has a statement it says i'm here yeah it's really an F raptor r come around to the back i'll show you some other features one of the things that you can't see underneath is the exhaust system but there are two resonators in front that are on the right side coming back and splitting into two back here one back here and then the different exhaust pipe. If you're gonna off-road this vehicle, you'll get an aftermarket exhaust tip, but right now, I think it sounds absolutely awesome. One last feature before I let you listen to the engine, because I know that's what you wanna hear, is Raptor R is here as well. So they really thought about a lot too much in your face. Very classy, very clean, and extremely powerful. This is a beast. Listen to the exhaust. One thing to remember is Raptor R is no longer offered a front torsion limited slip differential. Raptor R uses brake distribution to control front wheel slip when it needs it. The selectable rear differential locker is still there, however. Remember, it's not about a numbers war, but it's about balance, and this vehicle definitely has that. The F-150 Raptor has been a huge success for Ford, so now we have the Raptor R. And yes, it has a Shelby GT500 motor in it. That's the 5.2 liter, 700 horsepower, 640 pound-feet of torque, Predator supercharged V8 engine. So it has the aluminum block, the aluminum heads. There are some different components like camshafts and timing and that, but that's to be expected. The transmission has changed as well. It has an upgraded automatic transmission, but basically it is the Super Duty transmission to kind of make it simple but this is all part of what you have to do. You have to change the drive line. So the chassis sits only on 37 inch wheels. It's 145 inch wheelbase. So it is the F-150 frame. It only comes in a crew cab short bed. Now what's unique to Raptor on the suspension of the coil springs, the rate change is due to about that 83 to about 100 pound weight change. There is some weight savings because of the aluminum body. So that's power to weight ratio, which makes this a very nimble sheer power vehicle. There's also a different exhaust system. It has two resonators that are bottle resonators and then two in the back, a total of four, but it still growls. Because remember, you gotta meet all of the regulations for sound as well. Different drive modes, a Raptor R has special drive modes over the regular Raptor. So that kind of is cool too. 
Uh, aggressive faster shifts is really what it's all about. And redesigned front axle, increased diameter drive shaft. There's 13 inches of travel in the front of the vehicle, 17 inch wheels, 37 inch tires, and BF Goodrich tires that are special for Raptor. Remember, this vehicle is meant to win in the desert. It's not a race car. Under the hood is a 5.2 liter, 700 horsepower Shelby GT500 engine with 640 pound-feet of torque. This is the Predator supercharged V8, aluminum block, aluminum heads. The transmission comes out of a Super Duty because you got some serious power in here. And it just reminds you on top of that motor. Really very cool. Looking forward to taking this thing off-road. So we got up at 5 a.m. We're out of the hotel in uh, Muskegon, Michigan at 6 a.m., a little after 6. And we're taking the Raptor R up to Silver Lake. It's a sand uh, area where we can actually see the full capabilities of this vehicle. And we're going to take it jumping. So I want to give you a night vision of the Raptor R because it's one of the things that most people don't show. And so you get an opportunity to see the gauges center screen none of that is different in between Raptor and Raptor R so we won't go over all the little technical things and the safety features because they're exactly the same so you can check out our Raptor review and you'll get a good feel for that but as far as what's different is the drive line the suspension of course the tires and such but we'll talk about all that as we get out and about today so you want to stay with us because it's an early morning and we're gonna go out driving the Raptor R. Okay, so someone is backing down the hills. What happens when you don't get enough speed to get to the top? And that's not fun. Let's hope we don't do that. All, all clear. Okay. Here we go. We're at Baja mode, four by four lock. Gonna pick up some speed here because you gotta get up the hill. it again. I didn't have the wheel straight. We're going to go back down. Take another run at it. And all you off-roaders are like, come on, hammer it down. I was hammering down. Here we go. Turn into it this time, damn it. Got it. Woo! <laughs> okay, now we're going downhill. Again, same thing. Wheel straight. Holy crap, this is steep. Staying on it. Okay, I learned something. I needed a lot more power and needed to back down even farther. But that was cool. And this thing's got some serious power. Okay, next dune. We're not giving up. Big We're stopping. I just want to pull up next to me, not behind me. Big drop off. Slow wheel straight. We got that lesson. There we go. If you're going to jump your vehicle, obviously do this in an off road course. You're not doing this on the street. Watch the boards here. We're going to get going. I had such a wonderful time driving this vehicle that I'm going to head back out to the dunes. Hopefully you'll join me and watch me do some jumps and learning to get better on off-roading. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's down in the description below. I didn't cover every single detail on this vehicle. Obviously, if you have additional questions, put it down in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer it. Information on our website, social media, and our podcast are all down in the description below. We appreciate your support and we look forward to seeing you next time.